I would now like to invite the Honorable Jason Kenney, Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism Minister, to relate the message from the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honorable Stephen Harper. Thank you, merci beaucoup. Reverend fathers, uh, parliamentary colleagues, distinguished guests, in particular, I'm joined by members of the Government Caucus, uh, Lois Brown, Paul Calandra, and Senator Danino. Dear friends, I'm honored once again to join with you this time in, on the, 90, the occasion of the 95th commemoration of the Armenian Genocide. It was one of the great honors of my political vocation to be one of the co-sponsors of the successful House of Commons motion in 2003, by which the second chamber of Canada's parliament recognized the undeniable historical reality of the genocide of 1915. And I was, I was equally proud to bring here in April of 2006, the first declaration of a Canadian Prime Minister on behalf of the Government of Canada recognizing the historical reality of the Armenian Genocide. And so I bring today the statement of, by the Prime Minister to the Armenian-Canadian community on the occasion of the 95th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. On this day, we remember the terrible loss of life during the demise of the Ottoman Empire in 1915, in particular, the, the horrific suffering endured by the Armenian people. Both Houses of Parliament have adopted resolutions recognizing these events as the first genocide of the 20th century. This is a day we acknowledge solemnly uh, to guide us towards a better future. It reminds us all why we must remain committed to ensuring that today's world is one where respect of human rights and democratic freedom prevails. On this day of remembrance, we praise those who are courageously examining the historical events of this time to seek to achieve a common understanding with honesty and in a spirit of goodwill. I join with you today in remembering the past and ensuring hope for a future based on peace and mutual respect, signed sincerely, the Right Honorable Stephen Harper, Prime Minister of Canada. If I could add a word briefly, my own. We all recall the chilling words of Adolf Hitler as he launched the final solution of the Jews of Europe when he said, who today remembers the Armenians? Well, we can proudly say, as Canadians, as members of this remarkable, pluralistic, diverse democracy, that Canadians remember the Armenians. Not all, not all of us always did remember the Armenians, remember the tragedy, the suffering, the crimes, the genocide of 1915. But we were taught to remember and to acknowledge and to understand these events and their profound historical significance by those of you who would not forget the memory. Those of you, the children, the grandchildren, and indeed the survivors of 1915, who kept alive the flame of memory and transmitted it from one generation to another, from one continent to another, over the span of time and geography, you have kept alive the memory of those who were so brutally taken in 1915. And I thank you for that. I thank you for constantly speaking truth to power, both here and throughout the world. Together, we as Canadians can be proud of our position of leadership, having been the first G8 democracy to have recognized the genocidal nature of the events of 1915. The Government of Canada, of course, encourages the Government of Turkey to work with the Government of Armenia in an honest and good faith effort towards historical reconciliation and recognition of the historical facts. And we thank you once more for continuing to keep alive the sacred memory of those who have gone before. May they all rest in peace.
and may eternal light shine upon them.